Assalamualaikum everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to haul week. So today's video is going to be a really big Zara sale haul. I placed about three different orders on the Zara site and I still feel like I haven't exactly got everything here with me that I even ordered. But um, I was ordering for myself, I was ordering for Wakara as well and yeah, the Zara sale this year was really good. But also if you watch my Primark haul you'll know that I'm looking to change up my wardrobe, change up my style, um, come away from such dark tones all the time and you know just switch my style up a little bit so I picked up quite a few pieces which I thought would go it go well with my new wardrobe um, but first of all I wanted to just quickly shout out two things my earrings, how cute are these? These are like less than two pounds in the sale from a black owned brand called Omolola Jewelry they're a British black owned brand really really recommend them they're super super lightweight like sometimes dangly earrings can properly weigh you down these are stunning I love them and also this hijab was gifted to me um, I will leave the company name on the screen and I'll leave the link down below um, it's called they're called song hijabs and oh my goodness how gorgeous is this it's, honestly this is one of the most prettiest hijabs I've ever owned in my life it is this gorgeous like silk looking material but you've also got like a more of a matte side as well I definitely have not done this hijab justice in terms of styling today but um, you guys know I'm working on it but I think it just looks so nice and I really was looking for some lighter toned hijabs so I'm really really happy to have them in my life. Without further ado let's get into the Zara haul box number one. I have opened some of these by the way. So one box I've opened and, and then the other two I've just saved for this haul but the first item of clothing is this really beautiful gold sweatshirt i got this in the size small this is like one of the first things i got and they didn't have a size medium but actually it fits me really well um even though it is a small and it's it's quite short it's quite cropped so i can only wear this for something that's high-waisted but i really really love this it's something that really steps your outfit up straight away and it's a very similar material to my hijab actually really really gorgeous like a gold champagne gauzy kind of color jumper i mean zara stuff does tend to be oversized but i never really took go for a small but that was really nice and then the next item along the similar theme is this black satin skirt so I have label one here it says it's 16 pounds I got this in the size medium and basically it is like a midi design but because they're like skirts run a bit longer with a pair of leggings only like this much of my leg shows with and then obviously I've got like I have to wear leggings with this but I really really love this it's so elegant it definitely does need an iron or a steam before you wear it because it can look like you kind of just poured it on I thought this was really really gorgeous again definitely a piece that I feel like it is a statement for any modest wardrobe because you could wear this with like a white shirt you could wear this with a more fancy top it depends on what kind of occasion it is but you can really dress this up the one thing I will say though is that because of the material of this like even with my wedding ring it did catch on this and sort of put up the threads a little bit so I wouldn't say it's like the most resilient material and it is definitely a piece that I would just wear for a couple of hours and then have to take off like it's not one that I'm going to be wearing like very often but having said that it is still absolutely gorgeous and I have been needing like a skirt that's got a different kind of design so I was quite surprised how much I like that actually. Okay the next item here and I have worn this and I've still got the label on just so I could you know remember the prices and stuff is this um, corduroy white like shirt dress and this was in the size extra small to small and it's only £13 um, in the sale. Now the reason why I got such a small size was because on the model this looked huge and it obviously is designed to be an oversized piece so you can wear this closed or you can wear this open I so far have worn this closed I actually was wearing this in my Primark course so if you're wondering that was from Zara I really like it it's like a corduroy material and um, so it's you know it's got a decent amount of warmth to it we've got brown buttons going down the side and it's like a nice off-white kind of beigey off-white color really really nice really bright and i think it's a fantastic piece for the uk because here even when it is warmer sometimes the weather just switches up on us sometimes it's just something in the rain in the middle of a sunny day so i do feel like i'm going to get a lot of use out of this and so far i've been wearing this with like my black mango jeans and they look really really good with that I am going to try and wear this with like a bit of a tighter top underneath and have it as like an open shirt dress rather than just always having it closed but yeah really really happy with this and I've already got quite a decent amount of wear and I only got this very recently. Okay now the next two items I've not worn 
The first thing is this black dress. I got this in a size small and it was £12.99. And I just love it, you guys. Look how pretty this dress is. So basically, it goes up to my knees, around about, yeah, up to my knees. We've got long sleeves, a little bit of a balloon detail going on here. Uh, I just thought this was such a staple piece to have in any modest wardrobe because you can wear this with straight leg trousers, straight leg jeans, you can wear this with smart trousers. You could even, I guess, get away with wearing this with leggings, but personally, I like to wear like a sort of more midi length dress or skirt with leggings, but this for me is just a really, really good staple piece. And what I love about this is the neckline here. Can you guys see the detail on that? It is so, so pretty. We've got like this like lace croquet sort of detail going over here. So I haven't tried this on yet, but it's just gonna look so nice up like this, especially like when I am wearing like a more turban style scarf like I am today. I don't personally mind showing my neck, I don't have a problem with it, but I do like a little bit of this lace detailing that's going on. And again, it's just so modest and for such a decent price. And then the last thing in this box is from the men's section, and this is a Zara bandana, and this was only £3.99. I just thought the colours of this were so classic, so perfect. And you guys must have seen, if you haven't seen already, you, like, you need to check out Australian hijabi influencers on Instagram, you guys. They are so stylish, so modest. I'm so inspired by them. I've followed about four of them recently and the modest fashion scene there is absolutely popping and I feel like they are the ones who've originally started this trend of wearing a turban with a hijab. Now, obviously with this hijab, it's not gonna look great because this is like more of a turban style, it might look okay, but basically the trend is you, you get your bandana and then you just tie it on top. And I, I think this looks best with like a black hijab underneath, like a very plain black hijab, but even then, it looks pretty cool actually. I like this a lot. I love the bandana style. I think it just adds some accessories. Like, you know, a lot of the times we can't accessorize in the same way that you can show your hair. I feel like you can you do the clip trend if you really wanted to, but it's not exactly the same. So this is a trend I'm so behind and I'm on the lookout now for some decent bandanas that aren't gonna cost the earth. This was 3 dollars so I thought it was a really, really good price. And I definitely want to get some different colors. And then, yeah, I'm gonna try and be a trendy hijabi. Let's see how that goes. You know when it's been a while, and you've kind of forgotten what you've ordered or you placed more than one order. What is this? Ooh, okay, so the first item in this package is this faux leather top. It looks like this. It's in a cream color. It is a boxy design. It's quite short, but we do have our long sleeves here and the sleeves have got this detailing going on here. And this was £16. This is a really nice statement top, especially for like autumn winter time, um, to wear with that black skirt. So we've got different textures with the satin and the leather look going on, or to wear with a pair of jeans. I got this in the size medium, so it's definitely roomy enough. Like it's, it's a pretty large top as you can see, and I'm excited to try that on. Okay, the next item that I've got here is a white, jumper dress. I love this. Again, similar to the black one that I picked up, I just thought this was such a good staple piece in any like modest wardrobe. Now this is in the size small, a full polo neck here, and this is white white, like pure white. This is slightly giving me the fear, especially even putting it this close to my face which has got foundation on it. I don't want to get this messy and dirty, but I, again, I just think that something like this is just so key for any wardrobe and because I, I love my dark colours, I never will stop wearing dark colours, but I want to incorporate more light colours. And I think this is going to be a really good like base piece to then accessorise further on top of. And the length is super good too. I just love how Zara gives us like the modest clothes without having to ask too hard for it. Because that's what we need as like hijabis. This is in a size medium and it's £16. I'm trying to think what this exactly is. I'm not sure. I don't recognise or remember ordering something like this. I, okay, I thought this was a blouse. I wasn't expecting this material. It's more like a jumpery kind of material um, and it definitely needs ironing. But, oh, okay, interesting. I didn't realize this. Look guys, like the sleeves are totally open. Mm. So I'm gonna have to wear a top underneath for that. I might return this actually, because this, this is looking like it's more hassle than it's worth <laughs> for my wardrobe. But basically it's a more fancy top. You can't tell because it's creased, but we've got 
this bit this fold going on here we've got this fold going on here and then we've got a belt at the back i don't even think i'm going to try this on i this isn't exactly what i thought it was going to be like and i didn't realize that the sleeves would have slits in it so this is going in my returns pile over here i don't like to work too hard for my clothes to work for me you know and i know i have ordered some amazing under tops that's going to be in my other haul if that's already up i'll link it down below but still i feel like if, it's, if you've got a long sleeve top wearing a top that's long sleeve underneath a top that's also long sleeve because it's got a massive slit down the middle just not for me thank you <laughs> All right, moving on. So now I got this top here. It's in a size small and it was $12.99. Love this, absolutely love it. So as you can see, it's a white shirt. We've got long, well, three quarter length sleeves. They're definitely not long, long sleeves, but three quarter length. And how gorgeous are these buttons? Hopefully you can see that. Guys, look at the detailing on the buttons. You've got some pearls, some diamantes. I have been needing um, some white shirts, white blouses. This isn't the longest design, but I do have a couple of long ones now. I picked up a long one from in my other haul as well, like I said. Definitely a staple summer piece for sure. And then, ah ha ha, I have a skirt here. This is in the size medium and it was $12.99. Now it's looking a little bit short. Um, this is like one of their midi skirts again and it is a cheetah fabric. I think I was umming and ahhing about this. My thing with printer skirts is that I feel like you can only wear them a handful of times before it feels like you've worn it too many times, if that makes sense. Even though they're your clothes, you can wear them as many times as you want to. But that's my issue with them. However, I do have this pair of green like printed satin trousers from Zara and I whip them out every single year and I don't care because they look so nice. So I'm gonna try this on. This is a maybe at the moment, just looking at it. And then the last two things in this box are perfumes. So I have this one. I like the way it's come its own little packaging here. This is in the shade Cotton Kiss. And this was five pounds, quite mini, but that's quite cute for a little handbag size. This is 30 milliliters. Look at the bottle, you guys, how cute. Isn't that just perfect for a handbag? I'm going to be honest, I've not been taking my nasal medication as much as I should have. So I'm not getting a very strong smell there, but I will leave the notes on the screen so you guys can see. But I picked up a Cotton Kiss one, and then I also got this one. This is a Zara Feels Like Winter. They're both the improbable range, um, but this one comes in its own little box, and this was also five pounds. Five for each, I think they're really good. Although this is 120 mils, and this is only 30 mils. So hopefully this stuff is, is like a really really nice smell. All right, let's get onto my last box now. Oh my goodness, so exciting. Start, this is so beautifully packaged. So the first item here is this dress again. This is in a size medium, and it was only 7.99. Bargain! And it is this white knit dress. And actually this is a dual textured dress. So basically the sleeves and like the back of it are knit and they're quite warm. And then the front panelling is made out of this lighter cotton material. You can see it's like a crepe like fabric, which is really nice. I just thought again, this was a really nice layering piece. And again, I don't own many white things, but this is really nice, really bright, like a pure, pure white color, long sleeve. I got that in white and I also got it in black for the exact same price, $7.99. Just felt like you could not go wrong. So again, I'll be trying these on and you guys will see what it looks like, but I'm very happy with those. I then picked up this. So this is in the size small and it was $12.99 and it's basically a black shirt. Back of this, has buttons all down the back, which is a nice different design. And then the front of this is just a plain black top. It feels quite thick, it feels like it's decently lined. Again, long sleeves. How pretty are these sleeves? I love this, they're like frilly at the ends. So, so nice. And I love the Peter Pan kind of collar. And I feel like last year or the year before, like brands were doing the Peter Pan collars, but they were a bit too much for me. But again, this would look super nice with like a turban because it goes all the way up to here. 
and I just think it's really nice. It's such a versatile piece. But right now we have this really gorgeous jumper. It actually looks so much prettier in real life, in person, than it did online. This is in size medium, it was 16 pounds. And look how fluffy it is, you guys. How gorgeous is that? I need to try it on and see how it fits because it does look pretty massive, but it's obviously like more of an oversized fit, which I quite like. Again, long sleeves, it looks so cozy. So this is definitely more of a like nicer piece. I wouldn't be wearing this to work, for example. I'd want to save this for like a special, like a nice meal out or something like that. And yeah, it's not the longest, but it again would look so nice with different pieces. I think that would look really, really nice with my wide leg velvet trousers that I got from ASOS like two, three years ago and I wore them throughout the whole winter last year because they're so comfy and cozy. Okay, almost done now with the haul. Wow, I can't believe it, we're almost done. The next item we've got here is another white top. This is definitely more of a softer cotton kind of feel. This was eight pounds, I got this in a size small and interesting. So basically, the sleeves are made out of like a shirt material, like cotton, and they're quite big sleeves. These are like the most dramatic sleeves that I own. I know like dramatic sleeves are really, really in, but these are definitely like super dramatic for me anyway. But then the body of this top is like a soft cotton stretchy kind of material. And then I quite like the neckline here as well. So we've got a little bit of a free neckline going on. Now I could put this on and feel like I belong in the Tudor times and think this is not for me. So I definitely need to try this on. I think this is a maybe, but that was about eight pounds. And then talking about white tops, here is a super fancy one. Look at this, guys. This is a nice white shirt. It looks like a plain white shirt, but then you see the collar. The collar has got these pearl bits hanging down. They are so, so pretty. We got this in the size large because that was the only one that was left. But even though it's a large, I mean, it could be a bit too oversized, we shall see. But I just think this is great. I mean, I like the sleeves, very, very smart. How cool is this? Color detailing so this will look really good obviously by itself but also if you wore this with the jumper on top and then you could really that would emphasize like the pearl detailing going on here how gorgeous would that look and the final thing that's it yeah that's the final thing is this white pair of jeans i got these in the size 40 uh usa 8 and these were 10 pounds now they're supposed to be in the style baggy um, and I don't actually own a pair, or I have one pair of white trousers, but I don't have any white jeans. So yeah, they definitely look wider and quite baggy. I do like my jeans to be pretty baggy. And I, yeah, I just wanted a pair of jeans that I could sort of enjoy, but these look really big actually. No, I know this is a size that was recommended to me. So we shall see how these go on. And if I don't, if I don't like the fit, I'll just return yes, them. And that is it. I can't believe that's my whole Zara haul done. I've been, literally, I brought these boxes from the top of the country all the way down here. And it feels good to have had everything out. And now for the trying on. So you would have already seen me trying these pieces on, hopefully. It's a little bit hard to do easily because like I said, I've got so many things going on in this room, but I will try my hardest. Hopefully like the try on bits came out okay. The Primark ones weren't the best, but hopefully these ones were okay. And I hope that you enjoyed this haul video. If you guys picked up anything from the Zara sales recently, then definitely let me know what was your favorite piece that you, you picked up, that you chose. I would love to see and hear all about them. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. I will see you very soon for another video. Take care guys. Bye.